I'm not sure how to do that. So um, you'll have to do it online at the Young Family website. Okay. And maybe do you have guidance on what size to get? Um, the standard size size is seventy eight centimeters. Okay. If you're kind of short, um, you know, I mean, like short arms, then you'll probably want to get a smaller one. It's going to depend on her inventory. Okay. Yeah, you could also write to uh, to, to Fang Hong uh, or or sales at Young Family Tai Chi and ask them. Sometimes, and it might be now, she's uh, very constrained of what she has. And uh, the issue is for both of these, really, and I don't know the num I don't really know what it is, but uh, there's a, one thing is that it's supposed to be t one of them sort of saber. It's supposed to be higher than your ear, and the other one is sort of I'm not sure which one. It's supposed to be between the your ear somewhere in the ear height, but I think if they're both about at the top of your ear or even a little higher, it's fine I think. But I don't know which is which is which. I'm not sure why they're different actually. So it's how you hold it. It's, so if it were too short, like if you're very tall and it's down here, it looks like a baby sword, you know? So it needs to be up here around your ear somewhere. The sword needs to go at least to the middle of the ear. The sword, not the saber. Oh, okay. So, so, so from, if it's from the middle of your ear, uh, then that will make the saber at least the top of your ear. And I don't, again, really know what, why. But uh, the way you hold them is different. So here is the saber, it makes it a little higher because I have to hold it lower uh, on the handle. And the sword, you hold partially on the blade and that makes it the tip a little bit lower. So it could be that the same side, maybe that's why, okay? So the, the saber should be higher than the top of your ear and the, the sword's a little bit lower for the same size because they measure it by the, the, the length of the blade. And it goes from 76, 78, and 80 centimeters and the difference between each of those is, uh, you know, small, medium, large is, uh, you know, less than an inch, but more than, you know, more than a half inch. I don't know, three quarters of an inch or something. So uh, that's the difference. But if, if you had one that was hot, bigger than that, that's usually fine. So if you don't get a small one, yours right there, what do you, what size do you have, you know, of that saber? I have no idea. Uh, you, you helped me get one in class once, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, uh -huh. So that looks like, I mean, that looks like a, good enough size. And so if you've got the same size, and so if you measured it, <laughs> then ask for one that size. But an average one is a, is a 78. And but very often she only has for, for them just the long ones, 70, 70. Women more get like the 76, I think, because, you know, women are usually smaller. And the men usually try to get or get in the 80, basically like that. But if you got a middle one, it should it'd probably be fine too. So I if we couldn't get the size we needed, what would we use to substitute while the class is going on? Uh, well, almost always she has the longer one and that's usually good enough. Well, that would probably be way too long for me. So if I were trying to substitute like a dowel or something would be the same issue? Uh, well, you know what, you get very cheap, pretty, pretty cheaply is a collapsible. So I've got one of those. I could just yeah. use that. Okay. Use that. Okay. You use any, yeah, almost anything really. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you have a stick, you could use that. You know, you could use your saber, really, you know, so. Saber's too heavy. Well. The sword weighs she's about already... two pounds. The saber weighs about four. Okay. It's too big of a difference. All right. Quick, quick question. I just went to the, the website and there's a Tai Chi sword and an official sword. Yeah, they give them all different names. I'm not sure which is the uh, the current one. Uh, one, uh, I think, may depend upon whether or not if it's grooved, grooved or not, and what kind of um, material the blade is made out of. It used to be that we had uh, uh, this this sword, a uh, saber, and yeah, we call it a grooved one. It's got like, this part is extra flat and it goes down. It also has a little it, kind of a groove thing in it. Uh, and the sword is sort of similar. And they were made out of stainless steel. So those are, used to be called grooved ones. And then, uh, b before we had the grooved ones, we had the ones that we usually were called official ones, I thought. And, uh, and they were more like spring steel. Uh, and at least the saber one was, yeah, they were both like spring steel. So they would rust more easily. They weren't stainless. I don't think they sell spring steel ones anymore. And, uh, and so the thing is when they get a new version, if, they, if it's different enough, they give it a little bit of a different name. They don't, it doesn't make any sense. So, 
It's like I, the official one might be the old one now, and you know, it's I, I don't know which is which. They have pictures. Look at the pictures, and uh, and, and maybe let's send me an email. We'll look at the picture too and see what they're calling it now. I'll but it uh, I'll order one. Come yeah, on. it's just a, it's just a matter of the old ones, and they come up with a new one. They just give it a different name. But whoever's in charge of the names doesn't really think about what it means. So official doesn't mean anything, right? So uh, if the one that is more expensive is most certainly uh, the grooved one, the better one. And it, might, it probably would say stainless steel. Okay, that's a better one. So, all right. So we'll start. Did I start already? Here. Um, just FYI, um, we have a tendency here in Woodenville to lose power. So if we lose power, um, who 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 knows the the saber pretty well? Okay. Well, Rita, I put Rita in charge. I know it pretty well. I'm not. Okay. Can you lead them in case we we um, lose power? Can you lead them in practice until we can get back on? Just yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thanks, Rita. They'll work it out. All right. So uh, <laughs> thanks for coming. We'll start. All right, first, we'll practice a couple times. Prepare. <laughs> Opening. Seven stars. Ride the tiger. Take the saber. Push. Stand up. Oops. Push to the side. Thrust. Big circle, push. Two steps, back, push. Uh, divide the two sides. Then white crane spreads wings. Then five element palm. Back and turn. Thrust to the corner. Fair lady works shuttles. One, step, two, three. Then push. Back and turn. Slash and strike. Then circle and thrust up. And push. Turn. Slash, strike. Circle and thrust. And push. Turn, slash, then all right, palm up, step to the corner, turn and open, close, stand up and explode out, point to the corner, up, slash, strike, take the saber, toe kick, striking tigers, one, Two. Turn and right heel kick. Open this. Open this saber and spin around. Keep it spinning, circling, slash and stride. Then three steps. One, two, three, and thrust. Then, the great. Uh, circle, circle, to the corner now, stand up and arms level. Okay. What do you call that one? Uh, Leftward, rightward, cleaving streams, the dragon gate to crest. Oh, okay. Dragon, yeah, dragon gate. Left, left, right, streams, dragon gate. Jump over the dragon gate. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, one more time together, and then I'll watch you do it. Prepare. Opening. Seven stars. Step back. Ride the tiger. Take the saber. Push. 
stand up. Push to the side, thrust. Big circle and push. Two steps, push. Divide into two. Then white, uh, white crane spreads wings. Five element palm. Turn and thrust what's um, lotus in the breeze. White uh, Fair Lady work shuttles. Push to the corner. Take three steps. One, two, three, chop. Then push. Back and turn. Then slash and strike. In circle. And thrust up. Push. Turn. Flash and strike. Big circle. And thrust. Then push. Turn. And slash and strike. Palm up. Step to the corner. Open. Close. And explode. Stand up. Point the corner. Slash and strike. Take the saber, toe kick, then striking uh, tiger, big circle, one, turn, two, open your toe, turn, and a heel kick, then step. Roll out the saber to the corner, spin around to the left corner, big circle around and slash and strike. Then three steps to freedom. One, two, three, thrust. Then left and right cleaving streams. Left, right, separate your hands, and then stand up, up and down. Okay, so let's uh, see you do it. Can you hear me, Nancy? <laughs> All right, prepare. Nancy, would I call it in Chinese? Okay. Prepare. Okay, opening. Seven stars. Step back, ride the tiger. Take the saber. And push. Stand up. Then push to the side and thrust. Big circle to the left and then push to the right. Two steps back and push again. Then divide into chop. Then white crane. Spreads wings. Make sure you step before you do the cutting up. Then five element palm. Okay, then back and turn. Lotus in the breeze. Then fair lady. Work shuttle to push the corner. Take three steps and chop. Alright, then push. Back and turn, slash, strike. Then circle and thrust. Push, back and turn, circle, uh, slash, I mean, and strike. Circle and thrust. Push, back and turn, slash, and strike. Okay, then palm up and step to the corner, and then turn left and open and close. Stand up and explode. Good. Point to the corner, both hands to the corner and knee to the corner. Then circle your tip down and up, and slash and strike. Good. All right, then take the saber, both stance. 
toe kick. Dragon Tigers. One. Two. Good. Then turn and. Good. Then uh, spin around. The whip can be a pull. Then three steps to freedom. Put your uh, hand on the saber at the one third point. One, two, three steps and thrust. Good. Then left and right cleaving streams. Left, right, cleaving streams. And stand up. Oh, okay. Good. All right, so good. All right, so let's review that from last week, okay? You have any questions on anything before that? The yeah. three steps of freedom? I, I have a question on the striking tigers. Okay. Um, so the, the, the hand that's got the saber, you know, if, if you're just doing it in the hand form, then it is pretty much a punch it turns into. Yes. But the angle is different. So is it still just a whack, but a whack in that direction? Or should the angle be more the same? Or Okay, I would say that, uh, that if you do this one, let's see, here, and then you turn, okay, here, and then you turn, and you go like this, that here, just, just bring it to the center, okay? okay? Just, yeah, don't, I guess don't really think about what you're doing, what you're okay. doing. So think about, yes, and so we, we go through the motion with it, but we can't do the same thing. The other one is your head comes in that's more like grabbing yeah. or punching. And uh, yeah, here, we, obviously, we cannot grab with it. We're holding this. And so just bring it in to the center and don't do an extra turn or, you know. So okay. we have the other one, and we turn it at the bottom. So yeah. we can't do that either. So just bring it to the center. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so let's look at uh, what we did last week. Then from after three... Three steps to freedom. Uh, we have the left, right, cleaving streams. So this is remember the the, uh, the the figure eight is like this. And remember, we keep keep the tip back so that it doesn't hit the floor. It doesn't hit the ceiling. Don't it, let it extend. Okay. So that lets you do this over and over. Okay. And we're basically going to do that with the saber. And then we're going to end up like this. That's basically that's basically the uh, the, the saber does. So it does left and right and then up and ends up in the middle. Okay? The middle of the pipe. So that's basically this, the, the saber. There's a little bit of change. If you're going to come up like this for making the figure eight, we want to change that and try to come up and turn it and make it be standing at the end. Okay? And hold it. Turn it a little bit. Hold it a little bit differently. But that's a little thing right near the end. So that's the energy of it, making the figure eight. Uh, yeah, go ahead. and you, If you know how to do it already, you can just practice it. That's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, with the footwork is first we're going to go uh, on the left side and bring our foot in and step back out. That's one step. And our tip is basically pointed up here. Then up and two hands now coming together. Two hands up and step. And now we step with the toe pointed straight. Okay, not to the corner. We step you know, one line, two sides to the straight direction, toe pointed straight. Then uh, the left hand goes down and comes up while the, the saber keeps turning, keeps us uh, going in a circle. And now with one up and one down, bring them both to be like in the center, okay, the same level. And just at the end, turn it in your hand and get your fingertips on the on the edge, okay, of the top of the uh, handle. Make the make the blade point up. Uh, be standing. Wait, this is flat and this is standing. Okay, can you see? This is standing. That's flat. When we thrust, almost always it's flat, and our palm is palm up. And if you're going to make it be standing from here, we can't. We have to kind of like roll roll it around in our hand a little bit, in our fingers, let it slide, okay, and get it to be like this. So let, let your fingertips be, instead of being on the side here, slide over and get on the top with it standing. 
So that's a little trick of the hands, uh, how to hold it okay, at the end. Okay? Uh, let me see you do it. I'll just say go and you do it and do it a few times and we'll watch you. Okay? <clears throat> And stand up. Okay. Stand up at the end. Good. Shoes good. Alan, I thought was okay the first time I watched him. That's okay. Read is okay. I think Judy's okay. At the end, I want you to have this uh, with your left arm. So, it, so they separate and they come together, and I want you to be like this. I'll show it from the side, like this, okay? So this arm is a, is a circle. It's basically this, okay? But turn. Kind of like when you punch, Parry block and punch, all right? That's basically, that's the arm. Don't let it go. Uh, don't bend it. Don't bring it in too much and just have it like bent too much, okay? Keep it in a circle. So it comes like this, up and down, and keep it kind of level. Elbow, I guess, not as down as much as it could be. More level, okay? Okay. 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 So I think everybody's doing it. Any questions on it? Yes. No. No. All right. All right. Good. All right. That's good. So today is the. Uh, yeah, we're going to finish the the whole form. So from from there. Uh, this is what we're going to do. It's going to be uh, doing something again, a, a repeat movement. From here, like this, we're going to go down a little bit, drop the tip, and then circle it and throw it back up and slash, like we did uh, going the other direction, okay? Only now, the, there we started in a bow stance, like this. Oh, no, we started, no, we started like this, I guess. Okay, you know how it went, okay? Here and like that, all right? Here, we're already... Uh, we're standing on one leg already. We're standing on one leg, pointing at the corner already. So from, instead of going from here and going to there, we're already there. So this part is down and up, hop, slash, strike. Right? So it's basically the same. You're just already standing on one leg. So let's try it, and then we'll go on. So from uh, here, like this, already. And then down, up, hop, slash, strike. Okay, so it's, it's really, really a re repeat, very much repeat. Okay, so I want you to, yes? Do you actually pull your left arm in because you strike from the chest, or do you end up just moving forward so you Start move? like this, and when you go down, when you go down and you jump up, uh, I guess that's when you would pull it in. You throw it, and you jump up, and turn a little bit to the right, I guess, uh, to the left. And then you jump up and stop and land. So I guess that's it here. When it goes down, th then it comes in. They both come in. Okay? In, and they come in. You jump up, slash, strike. And so I want to be sure. I think people seem to be doing it. So that's, I just want you to remember. But when you slash, when you, that you leave something, and there's some turning with the striking. Okay? They kind of go together, slash, strike. We talked about that. The first time we had to do in the Fair Lady, I think, was slashing and striking. Okay. Don't hurt your knees if you have problems like with your knees. The trouble I have is I sometimes hit my knee. Hit your knee with a saber? Yes. Oh, yeah. With the, with the other one, yeah. It's like it seems in the way. 
So, so the slash and strike on this one is to the corner. Right. right, right. The same as the first one. It was also to the corner. Right. Yeah, the difference with the other one is you started, um, you started like this with your arms open and with your knee to the, uh, to the here. And actually this toe was to this corner. Yeah, that's trouble. And then you turn, you go like this. And so the toe is different. And then, then you hop and, and then splash. Here, your toe is pointed straight. That's about the only difference. And instead of starting like this, you're already pointed at the corner. So that's basically it. Okay, so it's very, it's, it's just like starts at a little different stage of like one little step without having to close to the corner, you're already at the corner. So, so I would say, Susan, try to see if you can feel like this, uh, up, slash like this like up down up down up hop down yeah, that's good yeah that's good so then yeah. a little a little uh, paw i mean a little pause up slash, that it's up hop you know it's up hop okay up hop so with it, up, hop, slash, strike. Uh huh. So don't try to. The issue is for some some people they try to do it like this. They try to go up and then immediately slash when they're like landing. I mean, then it's like too much to do at once. So just try to separate, hop, okay, like that, and up with a hop, and then once you're like touching the ground, then slash and strike. That's right. Yeah, so I want you to have this feeling from here. Once you land, the feeling is slash strike, okay? Slash strike. Okay, well, I'll keep working on it. <laughs> so it's like the other one. It's like the other one. Just try to feel, well, you know, you practice it a few, you practice it some, don't overdo it. Okay, but yeah. practice it some, practice it, practice it. And at some point you go, oh, that works. Okay, it'll just feel like, yeah, that works together. You know, it's, that's all it is. If you feel uncomfortable doing it or awkward doing it, you're, just practice it some more and you'll get it. Just try to decouple maybe the hopping from the slashing. Don't, you can't really jump up and with gravity coming down also slash at the same time. It's like too fast. So you have to kind of go up, slash, with the hop, the hop starts it going, and then the slash is a little bit after you land, and the strike is after that. Okay? Yeah, okay, so Catherine looks good. Okay, all right, so if you want, you can practice it a few more times if you want. It's a, it's a repeat, remember? You're, yes, that's it, edge up, there you go. That's okay. <laughs> are you? You're not hitting anything, are you? In the, the ceiling or anything, are you? I, I didn't hit anything in the ceiling, but I uh, caught an unevenness in the floor that time. Oh, okay. Okay. First time I, I whacked the uh, garage door open, a pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Careful. Careful around electrical things too. Okay. So, <laughs> swing your sword around. Okay. Well, let's go on then. Okay. That's a repeat thing. All right. So from here, we do another thing that is like um, the beginning of uh, Fair Lady Work Shuttles. And what is that? The circle uh, counterclockwise around chop. Okay, Fair Lady Work Shuttle, remember? Take three steps, and then while you're, while you're stepping, you're, okay, I'll do it this way. While you're stepping, you're going uh, one, two, three, chop. So we're gonna go around the same way and chop, that, that's the same. We're just not going to move. So we're already in an empty stance here. We're going to go and we're going to swing it around, bring our hand in, bring our foot in, step back out, chop, bow stance. It's too high. That's the problem. Something keeps lifting with me. All right, try it again. I'll do it with you. From here, 
swing it around. So while you're swinging it forward, the tip is going down, the handle coming up, around, chop. That's the, that's the, the saber, okay? Swing it around, behind you, chop. Okay? Stay standing on your right foot. So don't, don't pick up your right foot. If you're going to move something, move your left foot. So with the foot with the footwork, with the foot, I'm going to do, I'll do not my left hand. With the footwork, you're going to swing it around, and when the saber comes back, bring your foot in, step out, chop. Okay. So with it coming back, everything goes back, chop, and step back out for a bow stance and chop. Okay. And then the left hand, the left hand goes with it like this. That when you swing it out, you're turning. When you turn, your left hand will come in with the turning, okay? Kind of keep it in front of you, then you can't turn. When you turn, your shoulder is moving away. It has to bend if it's going to stay in this line, kind of, okay? Here and then back, okay? So turn left, bring your foot in. Then when it goes behind you, turn the other way, it comes back out, chop. Just like the first time we do it, okay? It's simpler. We're not taking the steps. Maybe we should teach this one first and then take the steps. That would be the second one. So just, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it with you a few more times. Circle, step, chop. Remember, you have to step first. Circle, step, chop. Circle, that's, that's oh, I'm going to count it this way. Circle forward, bring your foot in, bring your left hand back. Then two, behind you and step, and then bow stance chop. One, two, three. Um, Dee Dee, I think you're on the wrong foot. Oh, quite possibly. <laughs> I'm looking at him trying to do what he's doing. Okay, thank you. All right, one, forward. forward, turn left, bring your foot in, two, Step out, left hand comes back out. And now your saber's over your right shoulder. And then bow stance, chop. Okay. So again, another re re basically repeat movement. Yes, Judy? Could we practice it when you call it, could you call the turn right and left? Because I'm having trouble working that in. The, the torso turning with it. I understand where it fits, but for some reason it, I'm not doing it. Well, let's just practice that part, okay? Just the turning with it. So put put the saber, I'll do this. Start with your hip, right? Then swing it forward. Turn left, see? Now, you're, are you in front? I can't tell. Are you in back? Swing it. I'll do it sideways. Swing it. Now it's in front, and you turn left. Now turn right. Put it behind you. Okay. Chop. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, from your hip again. From your hip, your I'm, I'm pointing to the straight direction. So my body is 45 degrees. So from my foot, my left foot, okay? Swing it forward, turn left. Uh, do the circle behind you, turn right. Then chop, turn turn back to square. Yeah, that made sense, thank you, yeah. I was not keeping it in front of me. I was going too quick behind what was left. Yes, uh-huh, right. The, yep. the turn feels weird because it seems like my gaze would turn, but my opponent a, is ahead of me. Yeah, no, you have to look. You have to look in the straight in the corner direction where your opponent is all that. Okay. So so. Turn, turn, chop. You have to okay. look forward. Got it. Yes, your body turns. Okay. So I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm confused about the footwork now. Because all right. all right, so we're gonna keep, we're counting it like this. Can you see me? One. But could you move back a bit? I can't quite see the direction of your feet. Thank you. I'm going to the corner now. Okay. The yeah. Direction. One. Swing it up. Turn left. Bring my foot in. Bring my hand in. My left hand. And my saber is really in front of me, towards the mm -hmm. corner. A little bit to the left, maybe. Two. Bring it behind me and step out. For both to make a bow stance, and my hand comes back out. My whole left side comes out. 
right? Left, right, bow stance, okay? So let's feel left side, right side, okay? So another way to count it is like this. One, circle forward, turn left. Two, left side comes out. Then three, right side, chop, okay? And bow stance. Okay, so I, so I think I, I missed something a bit further back then because actually my feet were pointing rotated 45 degrees. So, so when you're like this, where, where are your feet? And do they change when you hop? When, you, when you're like this, you're standing on one foot, your left foot points straight, your point yeah. in the corner. Right. Then when you jump up, now your right foot points straight. Okay. Then your left foot goes to the corner. This okay, so, 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 so your feet shift a bit when you hop. This movement is to the corner. Okay. Yeah. yeah so okay. That's what I didn't have. My feet were just staying where they were. It's it's a little bit hard when you jump, maybe to have a lot of control over your landing foot. Okay, so maybe it won't point straight exactly, but uh, make your empty space to the corner as you can. Yeah. Okay. 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 That 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 was why I was confused. Okay, that's to the corner. All right, Judy. You're uh, muted. Thank you. That also had, I kind of missed, I was confused about that, but is that change in footwork why we actually get to turn our torso? Because I was figuring how can I turn my torso if I'm staying in the same direction, but we've shifted our direction. Is that what allows us to do that? Okay, we start uh, standing on one leg with the knee to the corner. Then we're going to jump and we're going to land and our foot's going to be straight. We're going to make now the striking we're going to turn right. Okay, great. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. okay. We have it. Okay. Try to have your, when you step out with your left foot, you're like, let's say we're like this, okay? I'm like this. My foot's in, my left foot's in, and my uh, sword, saber's in front. When I bring the sword uh, back on my left side, my left side goes out, the hand and the foot together. So here, together. So don't step first, and then put out your hand. Right, just have your whole, both foot and hand come out together. Can you can you see can you see how that works? Just together, okay. Just together at the same time. And I I, I feel like they're both just getting ready. They're not kind of doing anything yet. Then you're gonna chop and you're gonna ward off up. But it's just like it's just folding your left. Uh, Shoulder when you turn to the left and then turn to the right, it just comes back. Basically, you're you're turning your body, your hand is going with it, your foot is going with it. Okay, your foot, your whole left side pivoting on your right hip, whole left side pivot on the right hip, chop. Alan. Okay. Okay. All right, we, we have it. It yeah. might it might help you. I maybe it won't. To do the uh fairly work shuttle, the first you take three steps and chop. Because these are basic that's a repeat movement of that. Uh and it's useful, you know, very often our repeat movements are not exact repeats. They're similar they're mostly the same and then something's a little bit different so this is like that only without taking three steps okay so it's like just making the bow stance and doing it without it's doing it in place in a way and making a bow stance okay so it's like that one well let's go on okay who wants who wants not to go on is that enough is that too much it's kind of like two repeat things but if, if you're yeah, having trouble with it i don't want to 
because I, I didn't, I, I, had, I really didn't have the last week's move down either. So okay. I, could, I could spend a lot more time on those three. Well, okay, well, let's do this. We'll go on because now we're really, we're just really at the very last thing, basically. The uh, next thing is like seven stars. And, okay, so we're, and then finish, it's at the very end. And so then we'll, we'll have, uh, we'll see how we do that. And then uh, next week we can start the reviewing only part. Okay, and any part you want. And that, we, that doesn't mean, mean reviewing this week over again first, right? So, all right, so let's, let's, let's look at what goes on after this. So after I chop, I'm going to do this. Back, turn, and now I'm getting ready to take the saber back in my left hand. Turn. When I turn, my left hand is going to circle down, and I'm going to turn to the right, and I'm going to point my, my uh, I guess, foot to the corner. Then I'm going to shift back, and I'm going to lay, I'm going to take the saber. Okay, in my left hand. Then I'm going to step back, turn my hand over, make a fist, shift back, pull it to my hip, and then punch seven stars. Okay? So we're going to, you know, the very beginning of the forearm, we punch the very first movement, right? So lift the saber up, punch seven stars. Okay? Um, all right, so let's try it. Could you do it in the same direction we're doing it? It's really hard to figure out. Which, which direction is that? Is it over here? Is it over here? Yes. Okay. No, because you need to finish. Where did you start? You need to finish over there. So I start. So you're over here then. You're to this corner, this front right corner. Oh, oh maybe you were correct. Over here. Over, that's where I was doing it. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. Uh, it's just really hard to see because, uh, yeah, it's hard to see because you're reversed. That's all right. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. let's do it. We'll figure out what the right corner is. This is the right direction. It is. It From is. here. Okay. Back and start lifting up the saber. Let's see. Back. Let me think. Let me do it first. <laughs> Jump. Okay. Back, turn, back, punch. All right. From here. Back. I uh, don't have to move the saber yet. Turn, circle down. Just drop your arm. Keep it bent like this. Circle it down, turning, bring it up under. And it's over here on my right side, towards the straight direction, basically. Okay. And then. Step back and turn and turn over your arm. Make a fist. When you touch the ground, pull it back, shift back, pull it back to your hip. Then punch, land on the ball, punch. Yeah, this is the right direction. All right. All right, again. So the footwork, just to be clear about the footwork, is just back and turn, point to the corner, shift back, Step back, like step back with pulse monkey, basically. Shift back, turn on the heel, pick it up, land on the ball. Okay? All right, so I'll try, try it again. Back, turn, everything moves, everything moves at once. Come up under the saber, that's two. Three, step back, make your fist turn over. Okay, this is kind of like a uh, step back by the tiger, basically, this part. Okay, here. Pull back to your hip. Punch. So it's kind of like the transition of step back repulse, uh, step back by the tiger and turn it into seven stars. Okay, again. One. Back. Uh, okay. Back and turn. One. Back and turn. Take the saber. Point your toe to the corner. Two. Step back. Make a fist. Turn it over. Step. Three. Pull back to your hip and on using your heel. Four. Punch. Empty stance. Okay. Does your 
Does your left foot change from heel to ball as you punch or just before you punch? Um, okay, so uh, like strike, it's like step back, uh, ride the tiger. You know, step back, ride the tiger, you go like this and you're on the heel and then you land on the ball. You pull back on the heel because you use the heel to be strong to pull with. Then, now you're done with the pulling. You, now you have all your weight on your right foot. Land on the ball, okay? Here, land. Pull back, punch. The punching can happen before you touch the ground. And while you're punching, you touch the ground, put weight, okay? So it's just a smooth back, land, forward, push down, okay? So just like step back right the tiger. All right, do it again. And then I'll watch you do it. It might, um, not necessarily this time, but I would actually like to do it a couple of times in the other direction because like this, I'm, the first thing I do is turn away from you and I don't know what's going on. Um, so if you do it the wrong way, I can see what's going on. Uh, okay. Well, you could do that. Any, you could do whatever direction is good for you. Yeah, but then I'm confused because you're turning a different way from me. If we can just do it once with you starting pointing right. that plant. Dee Dee can close her eyes, but I'm really No, that's exactly what I wanted to, because I was turning away from him and I couldn't verify. Thank you. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. One, back and turn. Two, back and step. Make your fist, turn your hand over. Like step back, ride the tiger. Three, pull to your hip and use your heel, turning. Four, land on the ball, punch. Okay, try it again. All right, one, back and turn. Two, back and make your fist, step. Three, pull to your hip. On you, use your heel. Four, change the ball. Punch with shifting. A little shifting. Shift your weight forward. All right, can you do it? Mm, I think so. It's a, it's kind of, it's very, it's kind of simple. All right. So on your own, do it. Remember, remember to step before you pull your hand back. Just like step back, ride the tiger. I'll show you, step back, ride the tiger. So we're like this seven stars. Step back, ride the tiger is step back and turn your right hand up. Turn your right arm, palm up. Then shift back, pull to your hip. Then punch to the guy's temple, okay, or his side of his head. Okay, so uh, one, two, three. So don't, you can't do this. Don't do, don't do this, I'll put it that way. Don't do, okay. You need to step first, just turn your arm, then shift and pull together. Use your whole body to pull, then, well here, we're gonna come back, okay. Just come back and punch again. If it's not enough of a workout, let me know. I, I can put more energy into it for you. Okay. Are you confused, Catherine? Yeah. Yeah. We have to pull back. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're not doing that. You're you're somehow you're like opening, just opening. You need to from 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 here from taking it. 
back and turn, you take it. Then you step back, turn your hand over. Then you pull it down to your hip. Not just kind of let go. Pull to your hip. And then from your hip, punch. Punch, okay? Like seven stars. Well, actually, seven stars is not from your hip, right? Seven stars is from the middle of your body. Cross again, yes. Okay. Punch, show, Catherine, show punching. From your hip, punch. Straight to under your other wrist, okay? Straight there. Yeah, don't make a circle. Don't come up and move around. From your hip, right to the crossing. That's good. That looks good. Okay. All right, so should we put these together? These movements together, okay? <clears throat> we'll do it where we got last week from here, okay? So the first one is the slash and strike. So circle, up, slash, and strike. Then circle forward, bring your left side in, step out, chop. Then back and turn, big circle with your left hand. I want your left hand to do this, just a big circle and come up under, okay? Up, down and then a swing up, okay? So from here, back, turn, one big circle with your body turning. Then step back, pull your hip, seven stars. Anybody notice something different about this seven stars? From the beginning? Something, 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 uh, sort of basic. All right, here's the first step, seven stars I'll show you. Back and turn, here, step, look. Right foot forward. This is seven stars, left foot forward. Okay, so this is, that's a kind of a basic thing. Maybe not easy to notice, I don't know. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay. Hop, slash, strike. Then circle, step, chop. Back, turn, back, hold your hip, seven stars, punch. Again. Hop, slash, strike. Around your body, step, chop. Back, turn, back, seven stars, punch. Okay. So on your own, do those do the those parts together. We're not doing the closing movement today. We're just running out of time, okay? But again, it's very simple. We'll just do that next week, and then we'll do the start the review. On your own, do those parts, and you can start if you want with the uh, left right cleaving streams if you want. Put it together as you want. But on your own, do it. We'll watch you. If I don't make you do it on your own, I mean you're on your own anyway. Right? But if I don't make you do it on your own, 
without a lot of telling you what to do next, it's hard for you to do it on your own later. Empty stance. Rita, uh, let me see a better empty stance. Yeah. Your, sometimes your empty stance looks like this. I'll say that like this, and your empty stance looks like this. It would be like this, okay? Staying in the back, okay? Yeah. Don't go in the, don't go in the middle. Okay. 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 So I think everybody, everybody can do it. Uh, remember to practice. Okay. Especially this last thing, these last movements, but practice the whole thing and try to get a nice, smooth, even feeling moving through the whole thing. Okay. That'd be good. All right. So we'll stop here. And that is next week. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thanks, bye. Sorry to confuse about the direction, Mike. No problem. I was just like getting caught.